crash has closed the A55 in Conway. With daylight saving ending yesterday, 45% of Brits are saying that they want it scrapped. And in TABN UK traffic in Grantham, there is currently nothing to report on at this moment in time. It has just gone two minutes past six. I am Tom. And I am Ben. Nos we thought a cross so irraglen heno ichiva agasvolcho goen program anoch. Good evening and welcome to tonight's program. <laughs> A motorist has died in a single vehicle crash on the A55 in North Wales, with hold-ups lasting for eight hours after the incident. It happened between Junction 16 and Junction 17 at Dwegafilchi in Conwy at about 5.55am on Saturday. The 23-mile eastbound section between Junction 11 for Flang Degai and Junction 19 for Glan Conwy remained closed all morning while North Wales Police investigated. The driver died at the scene. A satellite launch company involved in a spaceport project in Shetland in North Scotland has been awarded £3.5 million. RFA UK will use the UK Space Agency funding to support its preparatory work for the first launch of a rocket from Saxaford, which is expected next year. The spaceport is being constructed on the site of a former RAF radar station in Unst and is to be used for sending small satellites into space. RFA UK is based in Grand Town on Spey in the Cairngorms National Park. The terrified residents of Lewiston, Maine were afforded a sense of relief amid their shock and grief on Saturday after the armed and dangerous gunman who had kept them on lockdown since killing 18 people on Wednesday was found dead. The body of suspected shooter Robert Card, aged 40, was found on Friday evening near a recycling area 10 miles from Lewiston, with what the authorities confirmed on Saturday was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Maine's Governor Janet Mills said tonight the people of Lewiston and the state of Maine begin to move forward on what will be a long and difficult road to healing, but we will heal together. At least 32 people have been killed and dozens more injured in a crash involving multiple vehicles in Egypt, according to the country's health ministry. The collision occurred on Saturday morning in Egypt's Bahaira Governorate on the Cairo-Alexandria Road, 82 miles north of Cairo. The health ministry said at least 63 people have been injured. Health Minister Dr Khaled Abdel Ghaffar said the wounded were transferred to a hospital in Wadi al Natrun, while others were taken to al Nibaria. State newspaper al Ahram said the crash involved a passenger bus and several cars, some of which caught fire. It also said many of those killed were burnt to death. With daylight saving ending yesterday, there's been a growing movement to scrap the clock change permanently. According to a new survey from Burtonette Bakery, it has found that 45% of Brits would be in favour of ditching daylight savings time, compared to just 24% who want it to stay. It's similar to a finding by YouGov in 2019, which found that 59% of Brits would prefer to remain on British summertime all year round. Daylight savings was introduced in the UK in 1907 by William Willett as a way to conserve energy. However, there have been some studies that have shown that it can have detrimental health effects, which is why many are calling to abolish it. BBC Children in Need is coming next month on Friday the 17th. The charity's aim is to improve the lives of thousands of children by ensuring that their childhood is safe, happy and secure. They also want to give every child the chance to reach their full potential in life. This year's theme encourages you to be spot-tacular, with lots of fun ways to raise money and take part in the appeal. This year will mark its 43rd TV appeal to raise money for disadvantaged young people across the UK. It will begin at its usual time at 7pm British and Irish Times on BBC One and will finish at 10pm. OK, let's get to your viewers' news now.
Anthem. It is quite slow on the A52 and B1174 and it is also quite heavy on St. Augustine Way, Dysart Road and Barraby Road. Weather tomorrow for Grantham, heavy rain and the top temperature is 11 degrees Celsius and the low is 7. Same goes for Wednesday but the top temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. That's all today. Please subscribe, thanks for watching and see you next week. Also, happy Halloween for tomorrow.